Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to learn about an interesting topic called as Java. Okay, so everybody might have heard about this Java. If you're a student, your seniors might have told you, your friends might have told you, or anybody might have told you about the word Java, right? Okay, so when it comes with learning anything new, two questions are really very important. Two questions you need to ask yourself or your seniors or anybody who is training you on that. Any new thing, you need to ask two questions for them. So first question is will be your what and the second question will be why. Correct? Now, what and why these are the very two important questions for anything when you are learning new. So before we are going to learn about what, we should always learn about why. So when we will be knowing why, it is easier to know for us what, correct? And it is very interesting to know what it is when we are going to understand why it is important. Now, in this video, we are going to see about why first and in our further video, we are going to see what and the other details of this programming language that is Java. So first, very first important thing on why we are going to learn. Okay, before that, there is no perfect language to learn. Okay, or there is no perfect language to learn any of the coding language or programming language. But I think Java is a great choice even as your first programming language to learn. Why? The first reason here is Java is everywhere. Java is everywhere. Now, what do you mean by this Java is everywhere? This Java is very everywhere code is being derived from one of the important feature or very important feature which makes Java very, very, very popular. That is platform independent feature. Platform independent feature which makes Java really, very popular. Now, what is this platform independent feature? Now, assume that you are having a code here. Okay, you are having a feature or a code of some language, some programming language, you have a code. Now, in order to run this code or to see the output of this code, you need to execute this code, right? So before executing the code, you have a two steps to follow. You have two steps to follow. The first step you have is called as compilation. Compilation. And the second step is called as execution. Now, what is this compilation and execution? They work hand in hand. So before executing or before getting the output of your program, you need to compile your program. Now, what is this compiling? Compiling means checking for any errors. Is there any reformatting available or no, not available? Is there any necessity for reformatting or is there any necessary for refactoring of your code? Are there any errors to check? We are going to compile our code. If everything is sorted, if everything is good, then we are just directly going to compile it. Now, every time when you're going to uh, use this execution or for any programming language you're going to use, always you have to compile it first and then you have to execute it. It doesn't matter in which a program, I mean, in which device you're using, every time before executing your program, you need to compile it first. But for Java, there is one exception that is, if you are going to compile it once in any of the device, you can run it easily in any of the devices. If you're going to compile it, for example, if you're going to compile it in your laptop, you can run it easily in your friend's laptop. So that is platform independent provided, provided it should have one, uh, one, uh, one thing installed in your laptop that is JVM. So what is this JVM? In detail about this JVM, let us learn in our further videos. But for your information, this is a virtual machine. This is a virtual machine or you can also say it is Java virtual machine on which you're going to run your Java code. So this feature makes flat, this feature makes Java unique here. Okay, now the second one, the second feature. Now, many of the companies like or many of the multinational companies you can say like Airbnb, Uber, Uber, eBay, okay, and etc. Many of the multinational companies like this also use Java as their 
programming language why because java is easier java helps you make it easier to develop applications for your smartphones for your smartphones and your tablets you might have also seen uh, the i mean you might have also seen uh, the uber smartphone and tablet application or ebay smartphone and tablet application as well right so these multinational companies also use java to make their work easier for smartphones and tablet application okay third one nowadays java is also playing or it is a big player in iot iot is internet of things and also it is playing a very big role in connected internet market in connected internet market in connected internet markets and also behind the scenes if you know java is also controlling many things such as your atms atms industrial robots industrial robots medical devices medical devices such as prosthetic limbs i hope everybody knows prosthetic limbs pros thetic i'm sorry thetic limbs prosthetic limbs to blood glucose devices in all these things you are going to need javas and also in your televisions in your laptops everywhere these this java programming is a ruling its kingdom now next the fourth one and also yeah and also it has been uh, rapidly growing in connected home devices such as light bulbs and garage door openers everywhere you're going to find java as a powered logo the fourth fourth important area where you have why you want to use this java is because of the java tools that are there because of the java tools which are available which is going to make the java development much more easier and an happier experience is because of its ide property now what is this ide this uh, these ides now java is a mature language there are abundance of tools that can be used to build an application in incredible way so these applications or these tools which are used i mean these tools which are used to create an applications are called as integrated development environment which are easily called as ides now these have made the java development experience much more easier and example for these ides are gradle no not ides actually example for the ides the tools inside those ides are gradle maven jenkins jenkins now about these gradle maven and jenkins tools we are going to see in our further videos here now fifth reason why we are going to use this java is because of its a rich set of api rich set of apis now formally what is this api so api is something which helps us to communicate between the two applications and it also stands for application programming interfaces now java there is something called as jdk in java now what is this jdk again we are going to see is see this in our further video but jdk is a very important member of java without which you cannot have or any java application or any java program running on your system now this jdk it comes with around not around it comes with about 200 built in built in packages now what are this built in packages now built in packages are something that you already have the code written for you guys in them you just you are going to use them in your programs and you are going to make it perfect so that is your built in packages it comes around 200 built in packages containing the apis that are going to allow for everything from xml parsing to translating the time zones and also communicating between the applications so these are the five important reasons why you need to learn java and also java is a relevant programming language that that shows no sign of declining in its popularity 
and for that reason it's worth learning i know that learning anything new isn't typically easy and learning a verbose language like java is daunting but availability of the great education tools such as our channel is going to help you in learning java in much more easier and interesting way to learn java stay tuned with us till the next video